Hello everyone, it's Seaput Magur again here. Have you ever wondered how to create a space video like this? I created this video from these two images in OpenShot, simply by adding zoom, spin and shear effects to them, which I'll be showing you in this tutorial. Alright, let's get started. First, I'm gonna set the project profile to standard HD of 720p and 24 frame per second. And then I'm gonna add the two images and the sound file to the OpenShot project files. After that, as usual, to make positioning the playhead easier, I'm gonna zoom in the timeline by shortening the timeline zoom slider until each second marking on the timeline ruler appears. Now I'm gonna add the far NGC1566 Galaxy image to the timeline on track 1 and set its duration to 5 seconds. As you can see on the video preview, the image's aspect ratio does not match that of the video and causes blank spaces to appear on both sides of the screen. To fix this problem, we'll need to zoom in the image until it covers the whole area of the screen. So I click the previous key point button to put the playhead at the beginning of the clip, and then on the clip properties panel, I'll change both the scale x and y values to 2. Now the image is displayed in full screen. The first effect that we're gonna add is the zoom and spin effect to create an illusion of moving towards the distant galaxy. To do that, click the next key point button to put the playhead at the end of the clip. And then on Clip Properties panel, change both the scale X and Y values to 4, or whatever zoom factor you prefer. To create an illusion that we're moving slower in the beginning and then much faster as we're approaching the galaxy, as if the spaceship we are on is blasting off, we'll need to change the scale X and Y's interpolation modes. So right click on the scale X property, select Bezier, and then click Ease in Expo. Repeat this step for the scale Y property. After that, to add the spinning effect while moving towards the distant galaxy, click and drag the rotation properties value bar left or right to adjust the angle of rotation. Drag it to the left to add counterclockwise rotation and to the right for clockwise rotation. As you can see on the video preview panel, the image is rotated as you drag the mouse left or right, so you can easily adjust the rotation amount to your preference. For this exercise I'm gonna set it to around minus 150 degrees. And then change the rotation's interpolation mode by right-clicking the rotation property, select Bezier, and then click Ease in Expo. Alright, now let's see the resulting video with all those settings we just set. Click the previous key point button and then click the play button on the video preview panel. If you are not very happy with the resulting effects yet, you can play around with the zoom factor, the rotation angle and the interpolation modes of the three properties we set earlier. The next step is add the second image to the timeline and set its clip duration to 8 seconds. Again, as in the case of the first image, due to its aspect ratio, we'll also need to change the image initial zoom factor to 2 to have it displayed in full screen. So click the previous key point button to put the playhead at the beginning of the clip. Then change the scale x and y values to 2. For this second clip, we'll create the illusion that we're moving slower and slower as we get closer to the galaxy and at constant speed as we maneuver to get the bird eye view of it. To do that, we're gonna split the zoom and animation into two parts, each will last for 4 seconds or half of the clip duration. For the first part, we'll zoom in from a zoom factor of 2 at the beginning of the clip that we have set just now, to a zoom factor of 3 in the middle of the clip. So make sure the second clip is being selected and then put the playhead at the 9 second mark of the timeline ruler. Then change the scale X and Y values to 3 and set their interpolation modes to ease out to create a decelerating effect I mentioned just now. Now for the second part, we'll put the playhead at the end of the clip and then change the scale X and Y values to 3.2 and leave the interpolation modes linear for a constant speed motion effect. To create an illusion that the spaceship is maneuvering to get the bird eye view of the galaxy, we'll add spinning and shearing effects to the second clip and animate them throughout the entire clip. This means that the first frame of the clip will become the start key frame of these animations, while the last frame will become the end key frame. For the start key frame, we don't need to configure anything. We only need to configure the end key frame's properties. So make sure the second clip is being selected, and the playhead is at the last frame of the clip. 
Then go to the clip's rotation property column and change its value by clicking and dragging its property value bar left or right. For this example, I'm going to set the rotation angle to around minus 25 degrees between the beginning and the end of the clip. Repeat this step on Shearx property. You can see the resulting effect on the video preview panel as you are dragging the shear x property value bar. For this example, I'm gonna set the shear x value to 0.8. Now let's play the second clip to see the result. All right, I think I'm quite happy with that. Now I just need to add a transition between the first and the second clips and some sound to make it more interesting. To add a transition between the first and the second clips, simply drag the second clip over the first one and make them overlap for the desired length of the transition. For this example, I'm gonna make the transition length one second. So first I'll just move the playhead to the four second mark on the timeline ruler, which is one second away from the end of the first clip. Then I'll click and drag the second clip over until it snaps onto the playhead. After that, click the transition to open its properties. Now go to the transition properties panel and look for the source property. Right click on it, then select transition, select zero, and then click circle into out. Click the play button on the preview panel to see how the transition looks like. Finally, I'll add some sound to this video by dragging the audio file to the timelines track too. Now as you can see here on the video preview, the audio clip somehow hides the video clips below it on track 1. Based on my experience on using the earlier version of OpenShot, this should not happen. An audio clip can be placed on any track above video tracks without covering the video with black screen like this. I started getting this problem since I updated my OpenShot to version 3. To fix this problem, we either move the audio to the track below the videos, or set the audio clip's alpha property value to zero. To cut off the extra sound to the right of the second clip, first put the playhead at the end of the second clip. Then right-click the sound clip, select Slice, and then click Keep Left Side. Now let's play the video from the start to the end. Alright, so that's how we can create a video from images by adding zoom, spinning, and shearing effects. I hope you find this tutorial useful, and thank you for watching.